Which of these guys are dying? Scott Thompson is no ordinary so. comedian. What? The viewer doesn't actually know that they actually are made up. <laughs> Both the cameramen are in full drag. <laughs> you didn't know that. And I'll bet half of you are. He's gay, and he wants the world to know. I've always been like an in-your-face kind of guy, um, and, and I'm a pretty sexual guy. I cannot see that part of my life, which is so huge, I cannot see uh, hiding it. I would just become a very mediocre performer. One of five brothers, Scott celebrated his birthdays just like the other kids in his hometown of Brampton, Ontario. But despite what appeared to be a pretty average childhood, Scott was gay and lived in fear he'd be found out. You kept that secret for a long time, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you cry yourself to sleep sometime? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all the time. Over what? <laughs> what, what was the catalyst? Just, you feel so, like, sick. You feel like such a freak. And uh, you just, you know... And you just think you'll never have a, a good life. You'll never, you know, you'll never find love. You'll never, you'll never get this out of you. You'll, you'll just never find anything approaching a normal life. And you're very disenfranchised. And that's the worst thing about k kids who are gay, is you just feel so disenfranchised. At the age of 24, Scott exited the closet and entered show business. And here I am getting made up in front of a camera, being called a drag queen by the Toronto Star. After a few bit parts as an actor, he joined a young comedy troupe who called themselves the Kids in the Hall. You are. Most like macho. A, it was love at first sight, and I felt like I'd been kicking around in the wilderness for years, and there it was, and that's, I'd found, like, you know, it was like coming upon an oasis. And it was really raw, but I just knew that that's the sort of way that I had, I had to be in the group. We thought he was terrible. We thought he was horrible. He was always over the top, and he was always uh, too much energy, and he, he would dance all the time. And he, 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 was, he was horrible, and he'd always say, it's because I'm gay, isn't he? No, we don't no, care about that. We don't think you're funny. <laughs> but he gra gradually sort of got to know him better, and he started, he started making us laugh off stage. Yeah. And we got, we got to thinking he was really funny off stage. We thought, wow, if he gets to be this funny on stage, then he'd be, he'd be great. I think we were as funny as we are now, and we were good writers, we're and we're funny performers. But we sort of need a Scott Thompson. Like, Look at us! Look at us! And that's what he sort of does in a way. Yeah. Look what we're doing! <laughs> yeah, he wasn't embarrassed about being a performer. Yeah. I want to ask you about some of the language you use, because you do say fag, mm -hmm. which offends lots of gay people. Yeah, and gay queer men. offends even more. And queer. So why do you do that? I guess I'm taking a, a book from, a page from Lenny Bruce and Richard Pryor who both took their words, the words, you know, kike and nigger, and they said, these are the words that I'm going to use to describe myself so that people can see how powerful this word is, and I'm going to reclaim it. And that's sort of what I want to do with fag. How are your parents dealing with all this? Um, you must be a nasty piece of work in some <laughs> sense for parents. Yeah, absolutely. I am a, for a lots nightmare of child. I know yeah. that. Yes, I am. They're dealing with an openly gay son who declares himself on national television with a towel on his head. And not one of hers. <laughs> <laughs> My mother said to me after I'd done that, she said, well, now that you've got that out of your system, you can do street legal. You know, now it's time to get into a suit and uh, be a lawyer. So I told her, no, no, not, not at all. Does it upset you in any way that it causes your mother specifically some terrible angst? Yes, that does bother me, yeah. But I'm a, I'm a grown man, I'm an adult, and they have to realize that, and I cannot let... You know what I mean? I can't let that hold me back. A lot of gay men aren't comfortable with what I do, I think. Why do you think that is? It's too in your face, and there's a lot of gay men who just think it should be very discreet and kept quiet and that's how you make your way in life and just and, and they don't want to confront people and they don't want to like upset the apple cart right and I'd like to upset it because I think it's kind of rot want to get a coffee yes yeah, coffee <laughs> we're gonna go and get a coffee and uh, take our clothes off <laughs> Church Street is Main Street for Toronto's gay community and Scott is much admired here here we go oh. Uh, second cup coffee, the uh, elixir that uh, on which Toronto's gay community runs. 
a source of pride, you know. A source for of pride, us, yeah, really. Yeah, because somebody's doing this. Besides, Scott Thompson's really cute. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, visible on TV. Yeah, and uh, to all the little kids in the farming villages in New Brunswick and stuff like that, <laughs> they're no longer the only gay person that they know about, you know. And Liberace is not the only person that they know about, you know. Thank you. Long may he reign. What it'll be, about nine minutes? Scott and the rest of the kids get the star treatment at a Tony Toronto restaurant. CBC Entertainment head Yvonne Fitzsand is convinced kids in the hall will go far, and he's not worried that Scott's controversial act will get in the way. Thanks, Yvonne. I know you pulled a few strings to get me this uh, fifth estate. <laughs> if you only do in this medium what has been done before, then you're not going to be particularly original or interesting. So you'd never advise him to tone it down? You'd never say, Scott, I'm worried about you? As we sit here tonight, two American networks are furiously bidding for the kids in the hall. Uh, they're not bidding. Uh, they're not bidding for it because it's Little House on the Prairies. Ladies and gentlemen, the kids in the hall! Backstage at the Grand Theatre in Kingston, the kids get pumped for a stage performance. Scott's gay characters are popular with the university crowd, and tonight is no exception. Running free, running faggot, running faggot, running free, see the faggot, see the running faggot, running faggot, running free. Oh. Howdy, stripling. Howdy, faggot. You may at some point plateau with the gay routines that you do. You think I already have? I don't know. <laughs> but you might only get so far, uh -huh. and then they're going to say, we're not going to put this guy in a, a big deal Hollywood movie or a book him at work. Well, you know, <clears throat> they, can, you know they, they, they really can take their big deal Hollywood movies and shove it. And I can make my own rules, I hope, in the future. I, I know a lot of people, and I have a lot of creative people that I know around me, and, and we can probably make our own way. And, uh, and there is a huge gay market out there that has not been exploited properly. And, uh, you know, if I am consigned to back to the ghetto, you know, um, so be it. But I just don't think it's going to happen. Uh, and I, I just won't let it happen.